us on the internet right now. We glorify the name of the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. Had it not been for that man called Jesus, I don't know where I would be today. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. And for a couple of weeks now, we've been praying for this convention to be a blessing. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God. The prayer. because there's no better way. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner, but I'm going to make up for it by praising him every day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This time, praise God, unfortunately, I can't have any more testimony, but this time I'm going to hand over to Bishop Ratsan in Jesus' name. Amen. Convention? Because the son of David is in town. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, now son of David. Yes. He's in town. Yes. When he gets in town, giants will fall. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank God that Jesus is in town. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. And tonight, convention, big time. First night of a general convention. And we are looking and expecting and hoping and trusting and believing God for big things. Amen. Amen. The, the testimony of, of uh, Sister Pauline is just the yes. after seven. What is the last testimony? Yes, that is a <laughs> miracle. I said that is a miracle. That's a terrible, awful thing to find yourself going down between the train on the, the, the concrete wall, the platform. Oh, what an awful picture. But thank God for the man called Jesus. Somebody said, if it had not been for the man called Jesus, Where would you have been today? But well, thank God for Jesus. Uh, welcome has been gone.
get out you wonderful folks, ready to go on the forge. But again, I want to take the opportunity to give you a second welcome to our general convention, the church where no one is a strange. And you know, I was looking at the, some notes the other day at the first day when the Church of God and Fellowship came to be. When the late Bishop Wallen called a song, the song, the hymn was song, and the scripture read, and it declared the first day of this real church. Praise the Lord. He is gone. But today this church is shining, not just here, but in other parts of the world. And tonight, folks across the world have got the opportunity to tune in and to share with us at a general headquarters of Church of God World Fellowship Convention. And those who are watching us on the internet, we ask you please to stay tuned. Of course, we are here this time, and we are here tomorrow, Saturday this time, and we are here Sunday, all day, and this time, and Monday, all day, on this time, and Tuesday, this time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good. That's it. That's it. That's good. That's excellent. God bless you. But I'm sorry. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Let us lift your hand and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord again, church. Praise the Lord. Well, tonight is my night. Yes. yes. And you know, I'm thankful God for this night. Because this little one that you see up here was deep in sin. Yes. And God is going to wash all away my sins tonight. Yes, amen. And I want to give him praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Well, 
And I take that as my confirmation that it's yes. time that we get back time now. And I just want to leave this song with you. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you my past is over. In all things are made new. I surrender my life to Christ. I'm moving forward.
praise the Lord. God is still saved. And you notice we never have a convention without a baptism. Have you noticed? God is good. God has given us souls. Amen. To enter into the convention. Praise the Lord. And it's a great blessing. Praise God. Amen. We thank you to God for the these and new people. Amen. That's been born. Come with your hands. But salvation is still in the yoga. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God is so good to us. I just want to make a great introduction. You know, I have a good friend, Pastor Marshall. Pastor Marshall. Pastor Marshall. Praise the Lord. Amen. We went over there a few weeks ago and prayed for him and he been sent forth to the office of an overseer and he is now the overseer for his church which is just across the road from us over there. Glad for Overseer Marshall here with us tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And beside Overseer Marshall, we got another very good friend. Amen. Reverend Witton. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know you're here where the Prince of Monday. Amen. In seminar. Praise the Lord. And I just in case anyone is going to want to over. Just anyone with uh Officer Marshall and with um Reverend Witter. But Reverend Witter, praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And from Hansi Church, we got our own, amen, Pastor Ivan Brown. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Give your hand for us, give us a great reward. Hallelujah. Amen. And right beside me, you don't want to miss him. Right beside me here, we got our own. Overseer. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Our own overseer. Nelson. And I'm his dear wife. Gonna ask her to stand. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I, I want to say this. Amen. Before Sister Gwyneth married him. The overseer. She had been faithfully my right hand person. I stop with you. You know that. Before you got married, no wonder you got married to an overseer. God is a man. God is a man. Call him Daddy Brown. He, he deserves that now. Amen. The longest serving minister of CGWF. We're going to ask him to stand. Praise the Lord. And the person from East Dallas. The hands are made by the person from East Dallas. My favorite one is Dallas. And Mr. Redman is Dallas somewhere. Amen. Wonderful. God bless you. Amen. God, we are friends and the women said we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. Please understand. Pastor Brown, come now. Pastor Brown, now we get Pastor Brown to you. In Jesus. Pastor Brown. Congress and Congress and Pastor Brown.
take his time in the ascending baptism. His word was sent to the inside. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. That's right. He believed in God, believed in God, and in me. Yes. In my Father's house, are many hundreds. And if you were not so, I would have told you. Oh, Lord,
Bishop and the overseers, and Bishop wife, the overseers' wife, the pastors, the deacon, the evangelist, the missionaries, unary. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I have heard my bishop be up a lot of us. But tonight we are going to be him up. Stand in the Lord. Let us give the Lord three great praise for him. Before him, 
endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand, hallelujah, of the throne of God. His job was completed. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Tonight, these words are words that will help us on our journey. Amen. And if even we see today in our congregation or in our midst that the thing that actually weaken Christian, amen, they are very so much easily to be upset. Especially when they are tra chasing for their own benefit. If you want to bring God. Amen. Hallelujah. But the, right, the, right, the word of God telling us tonight, including myself, lay aside. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. Yes, amen. Lay aside. Hallelujah. Therefore, sing. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Lay aside the word that easily to be said us. Come on. We all have hope. No one is saying. Sometimes we can struggle and some things, and on other things we are very weak. Praise the Lord. But the word of God is telling us tonight that was their side. Hallelujah. Every sin and the way, hallelujah, around us that we have that weak Amen. To run this race. Because the Bible tells you and I that the race, not our race for the swift. Come on. Hallelujah to God. And it's not always how we show our strength. Come on. But they that endure to the end. Come on. Hallelujah to God. The same shall be saved. Pray God. And so when God has been sent and not over you to lead you, you must go, hallelujah, a worthy pastor and a worthy bishop has to chase in congregation. If you are not with God, she is a kind of reason because you don't want to have 100 people and not going no years. You want to have 12 when they're going somewhere. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Hand and praise God. Hallelujah to God. Church is not a honeymoon place. Hallelujah to God. I said, Church is not a honeymoon place. You have to make your mind up that when you say yes, I turn, hallelujah to God, you turn with a complete mind. That's why Paul is here. Let the sheer mind that are in Christ Jesus be in us. Lift your hand and praise God. He that is my father, beloved, he chased it. Hallelujah to God. And any child of God, Oh, hallelujah to God, endure chasing, you are a good child. Yes. Lift your heart and praise God. That simply means you want to, you want yourself to be a better person. Yes. And because you want yourself to be a better person, when the pastor says something to you, you listen to your pastor. I am not talking about her, I am talking about the pastor. Finish now. Praise God. Amen. Next time they would have to put me on a little earlier. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Pastor Brown. Daddy Brown. Amen. God bless you. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Good to see everybody, all the families and friends that are here. We are just, just for health and safety, we're just going to ask that that area be cleared. It's very important that we keep that area cleared. Um, I'm hoping that we can see sufficiently on the screen. If you need to see, um, I would suggest that you come this end rather than that end just to help us right now. We just thank God and Evangelist Luke and I will be going down in a few minutes. But I know that it is convention time. Praise the name of the Lord. 
and I want you to hear this. This water is not going to save these candidates tonight. Do you hear what I said? I said, this water is not going to save you. It's symbolic of something that's already happening inside of you. They've been touched, they've been blessed, they've been changed already. And we should be rejoicing and giving it away. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. I said, what you think about Jesus? One more time, what you think about Jesus?
You're no longer just ordinary Cecil anymore. Not no ordinary Mr. Clark. But your name is written. I'm the best known as Cecil's name is written tonight. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes in the past people may have spelled your name wrong. But once it's written in this land book of life. It's going to be spelled the correct way. Amen. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? Praise the Lord. Let your hands and worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say I want you to repeat after me nice and loud. Thy vows are upon me, O Lord, until death. I want you to say after me again. Thy vows are upon me, O Lord, until death. One more time. Thy vows are up on me, O Lord, until death. Cecil, you want to change your mind? Everybody hear that? Yes. Cecil don't want to change his mind, so we're going to do the thing. <laughs> oh, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Until death. Can you say for yourself? 
is the Lord. Continue to lean on Jesus. When all others tend to let you down, Jesus will never let you down. Jesus will never fail you. He's never failed me yet. I've never known Jesus not to show up. He always turns up on time. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat after me. Thy vows, O Lord, are up on me until death. Thy vows, O Lord, are up on me until death. Hallelujah. Upon the confession of your faith, the authority vested in me as a minister of the Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost.
upon the confession of your faith and the authority invested in me as a minister of the Lord. I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the Spirit.
Say it again. Asher got way back stuff. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, church, let's give God some glory. Come on. Fire, 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 fire. 
baptize us. Praise the Lord. What a blessed hope. To go and make the decision to follow Christ. And people die in the 80s. And 90s. The same word way just as they are. And die in sin. It is a conscious decision. And when they die in that state and gone to hell. I am not sorry for them. It doesn't matter who they are. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you something. You think when you live to 80 years old and 90 and die, I'm going to hell. Jesus Christ, for you. No, sir. And when you stand before Jesus on that day, the Bible said, Jesus will say, depart from me. I don't know. So how many young people we got here who have given their life to Christ, taking their water baptism? Praise the Lord. Amen. Because they want to get in when the role is called Gaza. They want to be here. These people are type of young people begin to pay their pension. You just start work and you're young and you hear the word pension. You think it's not laugh. It's a pension for old people. But old people got to pay pension money when they're young people. Yeah. Oh no? Yeah. When you start trying to pay your money, you won't have anything to get. And what they're doing now when they're young, yes, they're choosing Christ. And the Bible said, I was young. And now I'm old. Did you come to church tonight? I was young. Like this old. And now I am old. I've never seen the righteous. For sin. And you know what these young people have? They have an assurance policy. There was once a man about us. You know that high air. And that is why some people they even want body guards now. Okay. See? All right. Now I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. Jesus had body guards. Yeah. <laughs> Because they were all taken to kill him. Yeah. All right, we're going to be talking about that tonight. <laughs> let's go on to number. Uh, next number, please. What Jesus uh, stated to Nicodemus in number. Uh, let's see. Now, if you notice, the question that Nicodemus asked Jesus, yes. approached him with, yes. Jesus gave no response at all to it. We know that you are a teacher come from God, for no man can do this miracle that you have done except God be with him. That is what Nicodemus said. Jesus was not interested in that monitor. You and I would be so glad to hear that. Wow. Now we must understand something about what Jesus came to do. Jesus turned. The interest of Nicodemus. Yes. 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 
to know whether he was really the Messiah and talking about the miracles and Jesus got to what was most important. Paul wrote to Titus, mm -hmm. chapter 3, mm -hmm. and he said, avoid foolish and unlearned questions, for they do generate strife. How many times we argue and quarreling with one another mm -hmm. about what is right and what that means and what that means. Yeah. 
Now, you're coming from what Nicodemus said to Jesus. Yes. There is absolutely no harmony in this conversation. No. Mm -hmm. It does not match up. <laughs> Jesus is dodging <laughs> Nicodemus. <laughs> he put him away. Jesus sidetracked him. <laughs> so if you have been following here now, you will see carefully. That Jesus is showing him what is important in his life. 